Greetings to another video. Today I'm stood at the bottom of Home Moss because by request this was one of the climbs that you wanted to see me suffer up. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. I've never actually done a all out effort so I don't really know what time I'm aiming for. I'm just going to just give it everything I got. So a little bit about the climb it is 2.2 kilometres long. Uh, an average is nine and a half percent. That is like the official 100 climbs like stats of it. So I reckon let's just get up there. It's a beautiful climb. It's a good weather day. It's a little bit breezy, but yeah, let's just get up there and watch me suffer. So this is coming up to the start of the climb. This is one tip I would give you is know where the start of the segment is if you wanted to get a good time because I actually didn't know where the, the actual official start of it was. So I was kind of just like guessing. Uh, that will save you a little bit of power, a little bit of effort, because you don't want to be starting off. I actually probably was a couple of, I think it was like 0.2 of a K out. Uh, so yeah, just know where the start and the end of the segment is. So here, I think this is coming up maybe to the start of it actually, because there's a little bit of downhill. So you kind of go down this little bend here and then that's when it ramps up. But I think the segment is a little bit further back, so I think it includes that bit of downhill. So as you can see, I'm just like, right, let's get going. Let's get that um, power down. Another tip that I would give you if you are wanting to get um, a good time on a segment is try and keep your power as level as you can. I've probably set out a little bit, at the very start, I was a little bit hard. Um, like there, I'm like, I'm not gonna hold 350 watts, so. I saw that on my um, Wahoo and I was like, right, I need to steady that off. And to be fair, <laughs> I don't really know what I was aiming for. That's another tip is kind of have a rough idea of what watch you want to try and average. But I didn't. So I'm giving you all these tips and I didn't really do any of them. So I'm looking now, I'm aiming for maybe around 300 watts, but I just felt good. I felt strong and I was like, I'm just going to just give it everything I've got. So that kicking up there about 10%, 11% in the bottom right. So yeah, top left, we've got my cadence, speed below that, and then you've actually got the segment like map below that. Watts on the bottom left, and then obviously the gradient on the bottom right. But look how beautiful this climb is. I just, I know I say this of all the different climb videos that I do, I think it's just, I just love climbs, but it is absolutely just, stunning it's such a brilliant brilliant climb and i definitely think it's one to do if you are like new to climbing as well just because there's so much kind of variety it is a little bit steeper in places it's quite long it's quite windy but it is just a really good one just to go and practice at so that is yeah this is home i always think it's really nice to actually see it from the other way because i've actually never descended it so i never actually get to see kind of what's behind me so, yeah. Also, I mean, to be fair on this day, there were quite a few cars. I don't normally think there's that many cars up it when I go, but generally people are pretty, pretty nice up there and we'll just wait. There were a lot of motorbikes actually. I think it's the nice weather. Nice weather, nice weather brings out cyclists, motorbikes, and people in convertibles. So let's get on to some more cycling tips or cycling chat, I guess, rather than talking about motorbikes. The um, the heart rate monitor, everyone on the Win It's one was like, oh, I want to see your heart rate. I did wear it and I forgot to connect it to my Wahoo, so really sorry about that. I am going to be going out today to film a, another, a shorter climb than this, but a very, very, very steep one. I will get my heart rate on there, so the next video you see of a climbing video will have my heart rate. Sorry about that. I mean, you can see my power. Also, <laughs> as well, I uh, this was part of like a 90k ride, and this effort was a hard effort. This was actually the best 10 minute power that I've ever done, ever. And I had to then go and ride about 45k after it, and my legs were honestly just not, not in a good way. <laughs> I was so tired after. So yeah, I would also recommend if you wanted to do a, a really big effort, maybe do a shorter loop. In fact, I can't, I can't, I couldn't have been able to do a short loop unless I'd driven there and I didn't really want to do that for this because it was such a nice day. I wanted to get out and just 
see the countryside and get the sun, see the sun on my legs. I did actually burn my legs a little bit. So, because it was just so nice. And then after when we did the effort, we actually went down a few more times and back up just to get a couple of pictures for the thumbnail. So I hope you appreciate the effort. <laughs> um, what else? Let's talk about, actually, someone was saying, oh my God, this is so narcissistic. I'm like, probably is a little bit narcissistic actually, but welcome to YouTube. This is, this is what we do on here. We just film ourselves and I'm cycling. So this is what I film. Also, just past that guy, this is another thing that I want to talk about. Some, he wasn't, but some guys are, they just do not like having a female pass them. And I even get in some of the comments on these videos with my power data, basically saying that my data must be wrong, like my watts aren't accurate. And if they were accurate, I'd be, you know, I'd be a pro level rider or something. I'm like, they're all right, the watts, they're not, they're definitely not world world-class level by any means or any stretch of the imagination like I just feel like people just don't want to some people not all people most of you are really lovely and really supportive but some people just don't want to see that a girl can go pretty quick up a hill and this isn't even like mega quick to be honest this isn't even in like I don't even think I got in like anywhere near the top 10 women so I'm not that fast I, I can climb hills all right but again put me on the flat I'm pretty bad on the flat. So yeah, my watts are, well, do you know what? If people don't believe me, come and ride with me. We'll do a ride and come and see, come and see how I ride and you'll, you'll know that the watts are, are pretty accurate. And to be honest, it doesn't matter anyway. It's just riding, ride, riding a hill, isn't it? What does it matter? I'm not doing this to, to try and, I don't know, to make out like I'm better than anyone else. This is just, I, I like watching these videos of other people doing them, so I just think it's good. And I also, the reason that I do them is because my first ever climb, when I started riding like five, five or so years ago, it took me two hours to climb a 5K climb. I think it was 4K, two hours, two whole hours. So I kind of want to show this to be like, actually, if you put a bit of time in and, and you, you know, you train, I say training like inverted commas, like I'm just doing like the inverted commas with my fingers now, because I just, I don't class it as training, I just class it as riding my bike. So I kind of want to share that. So if you, you know, if you're new to cycling and you are struggling up climbs, I was the exact same. And now I feel like I could pretty much do, I would, I would 100% give a go up any climb, any length, any distance, I would climb any. So if there are any others that you want me to film and climb, or that you want to see because this is the thing look how beautiful that is I kind of want to show like show off some of the lovely climbs near me and I'm happy to travel I will travel for a decent climb so that is why I do it as well so yeah let me know what other climbs this was in a requested one as well and also the one that I'm doing later today is requested as well so that'll be up next week but that was a definite requested one also one of the things as well I feel like when I'm doing these climbs, especially because it, it was, you know, part of a longer ride. I don't feel like I can really, I don't know, like fully let go and fully just push everything because I'm almost like in the back of my head, I'm like, I've got to get home after this. And that's why I feel like Zwift is such a great training tool because especially the races, you can literally leave everything you have on Zwift and know that you just got to get off on the bike and just potentially lay on the floor for a little breather afterwards. And I think that has helped definitely helped me climb outdoors by being able to put efforts on the bike um, on Zwift so yeah you can see now 10% it I think it's average 9.5% I think it don't I think it gets any more than like oh 13 I was gonna say more than 12 um, also as well I always get asked what software I use to get the data up it's called Garmin verb I actually use a Wahoo so it's not you don't have to have a Garmin to use it um, but yeah you just get the fit file from your ride and then pair it up with the actual footage on the map. It's pretty clever and it's, I try and get it literally as lined up as I can. It might be a couple of seconds out either side, but I try and get it as accurate as I possibly can. Oh, it's just such a great climb. Let me know if you've done home loss because it is such a great climb. Also as well, I will add that um, another reason that I do it, and this is like 
case in point, a guy at the top I got chatting to, and he's like, oh, because he shouted, oh, you're Katie, aren't you? I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, oh, I'm up here because of you. And I was like, oh, why? And he's like, oh, I saw the loops that you were doing on Strava. And I was like, oh, I've never been up there. And that's why he'd gone up. So I was like, that's this is why I do it as well. I want to encourage people to get out and explore different climbs. And Because I know when I first started riding, I didn't know where to go. And I would recommend getting on Strava. That's how I found most of these climbs. It's just going on the, because I was new to the area where I, where I moved over to Manchester. I just clicked on like um, the explore segments feature on Strava and then just found some of the longest, nicest climbs I could. Actually, my friend brought me to this one. And when when he actually first brought me here, I was bricking it. Honestly, I was like, is is it that steep that I'm gonna fall off? I was really scared and apprehensive about doing it. I had to stop on like the first two bends to get like my breath back. So again, this is just to show you that like, you know, you can, you can just get faster and quicker and you just gotta practice. And for me, like that's all I've wanted to do is just get better at hills because I love the hills. So we are getting up towards the last little bend now. Oh, look at that view in the background. That is where we're basically ridden from. So went up Dove Stones and then over to Home Off. That is like my favorite, favorite loop. It takes me about three and a half hours. On this day, it took way, way longer because we were taking pictures and different footage and, and stuff like that. But honestly, that is the best. If, have a look on my Strava. If you live anywhere near around kind of Manchester area or Huddersfield or somewhere like that, it's a brilliant, it's a brilliant, brilliant loop. So yeah, we're coming up to the very like to the top part section of it now. You can see in that little map, there's not much left. Um, so I'll tell you my stats because you just get me huffing and puffing at the end. So yeah, it was my best ever 10 minute power. Um, the actual segment time, I got 10.54. My average cadence was 90. My average watts was 308 watts. And I'm, I'm between 63, 65 kilos. So that average is about 4.8 watts per kilo. Um, and yeah, they are the stats. That, that is the best time I've ever got up there because I've never actually done an effort. And we are just coming up to the end of the segment now. So honestly, amazing. Really love, just, I really love making these videos. I'm really glad that you're enjoying them. So just give me a shout. Let me know what other um, climbs you want me to go and film. <sighs> it's the same after every climb, isn't it? Oh. <coughs> I do love it. it, just clears like all your lungs, your nose. As soon as the camera turns off, I'm just gonna like blow my nose so hard into like grass. I feel like Winnets was, I put way more. I think my average power for this was higher, but Winnets is just harder because it's such a much steeper climb. And now we need to go back down to get some pictures. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh. Hang on, it's too busy. Start again. It's too busy. Oh. Is it filming or what? It's filming. Yeah, go. 